Hello everyone, today we are going to take a first look at the new update to VFX Nexus 5. They have released a new version of Nexus, ready in time for Black Friday, which has just been and gone. And this is going to be on sale at a reduced price and nice upgrade price of, well, for me it was 75, no, 74 pounds it was. Um, to upgrade from VFX Nexus 4 to Nexus 5. So quite a reasonable price for what is actually a beefy update. Now, Nexus has had a bit of a bad rap in the past because it's been deemed as just a rompler with very expensive sort of add-on packs. Well, they've really opened this up as we'll explore. I've not really played with this. This is the first time I've loaded it up, so there's going to be some mistakes and some fact-finding, but I thought I'd just share my fact-finding mission uh, with your good selves. Speaking of fact-finding, if you are enjoying the content of this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. It really is appreciated, and it does show to YouTube that you do enjoy the content of this channel. It also lets me know. And speaking of content on this channel, there's a little survey in the description below that will allow me to know what you would like to see on this channel. Yes, I will still continue to look at Omnisphere, but I want to branch out a bit. So, you know, what, do you want me to daily dive into Nexus, this new update? Let me know in the comments below. Well, first of all, um, the interface is really completely different. Um, very fully scalable. Um, and we can see all the expansions that I've got down the side here. So I've got quite a few expansions. Uh, you can have a look at the old factory presets and so sort of, there's a nice filtering system here for the expansions. So you've got the new Nexus 5 presets, then you can uh, filter them. So bells or drums. So let's do some arpeggios on the new Nexus 5. So let's go with dancing robots. Now you get a nice preview and it loads really, really quick. So if I do this one. Don't know what any of these are gonna sound like. I'm just gonna play some of them. They load really quick as you can see. And the CPU is very, very light on CPU. It's using not even 10%. Now I'm on a Mac M1. Um, one of those wonderful beefy machines. Let's go for some plucks. Let's do some atmospheres. Rings now.
some new um, factory presets for that upcoming Nexus. You probably, those who have used, have used Nexus before have probably noticed a few sort of major, major changes to the interface. Down here we've got some modifiers and then if, uh, and if we go there, it tells me what layers I'm actually using here. Um, and I've got some filters, uh, reverb, amp modifier. And across here, if I click on this, you can go into a full like modular type thing here. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. So let's see. Um, might need to play around with this myself later. Add a layer. There we go. I can add a layer. So I've added a oscillator and and here, this is what I wanted to do is if I mute that layer, we can now use this as a fully programmable synth. What I mean by that is at the moment on virtual analog and I have got all these wonderful wave shapes to play with. We're currently on a saw. I can then bring on a filter. Got these lovely filters to play with. So let's go for a vintage low pass 24. And if I want to open that filter, I guess I'm going to have to go. There we go. Like a modular synthesizer. So if I, oops, I just. There we are. So now I've attached envelope one to the cutoff. You can see the pink there and it's on trigger. So if I take trigger off and do looped, I suppose that's going to cycle backwards and forwards. It does. And I need to add a node. So I'll right click and I can then do some little funky pattern, say. Now, if I want to, I could do another filter. Um, let's make this a high pass. So I've got like a notch filter going on here now. Bring some resonance. And I'll take an envelope three and bang that onto resonance. start playing around with attack decays and everything and now then should have some uh what's this function matrix right so that allows me to alter some velocities to different things now we need to add some there we go we can add some vibrato So there's a lot more to Nexus than we had originally. Because if we look at this now, I've got an oscillator into layer two, which is now into the main effects. And the main effects, this is what's after. So I've got reverb and I can put some shimmer on now. Singularity. Let's put a delay on before the reverb. And now if I just click and drag, there we go. Now I just need to turn that resonance right down and stop it from going all the way up to the top. And we should be a good to go if I bring a layer one back on. So ReFX have really upgraded Nexus 5 here. Um, got a randomizer. What does that do? Load random preset. Now, 
this is what I want to play with because I know it has in here. This is back to a, a basic set. Now, I know it has, it's got a granular. And it has, this is what I was after, sampler. You can import your own wave samples to this. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to, this is one I took from a pipe organ many moons ago. I've already pre-looped this, but you can actually go into the sample editor and change the loop points uh, if you so wish. So you can actually load a um, sampling and change the loop point. So, and or make a loop point if there isn't one already there. So let's unison this. Um, what's it doing me, allow me to do three voice, four voice. How many voice unison can I have? Five voice unison. So I'll stick with two. And I want to go down the octave, so go down minus 12. How far can we go? Wow, we can go. It's a full MIDI 127, so that's, you can really detune this. So let's go to minus 12. I want to go down an octave. Oh, that's my email. I need to turn that off so you don't get any pinging. We can turn pitch on and off. So basically what pitch does is it means that you get the same pitch on each uh, note. Now this is tuned to C2 anyway, it's old already. Um, so let's have some little fun creating a little sound with this. Uh, let's change the attack. With the filter. Um, and we want to bring cut off. So brings the filter on gradually. We'll make it into a bit of a pad, I think. So we'll change the attack. And now we'll put cut off. And we'll uh, right click on that. We'll have it peak, come down. Pick a bit more, come right down before going back up a bit, and we'll send it unlooped. And I want LFO on resonance there. So the depth, I don't want it to go too mad. I want the speed quite slow. That'll do nicely. Um, let's flip on over to routing. At this moment in time, we already have the delay on. And the limiter and reverb. So I want to turn delay off. Put the shimmer on. And if I go back to this, I just want to make the attack even longer. So this is all like fact finding. And 
what else? What other effects have we got? We've got... Wowzers. Uh, let's put an analog chorus on here and bring that to the top. Swap that delay on. And I want to try... Nuclear. Let's try that. So that's the analog chorus. Uh, I've got some presets, so we'll try this one. Super sort. Oops, sorry about that. That's a little bit too much. Let's go for gentle chorus. And I want to turn the gain down on that. Okay, so if I want to go back to layer and let's just make this into a proper plug. And I want some arpeggiations on this. Let's see what the arpeggiator does. Turn it on. Let's add some crystalline. Oops. I don't want to save. There we go. You got a full sequencer in here, so if I actually do with this now um it's no longer um just a, a sort of rumpler it's a full-blown synthesizer so i'm just going to load a another let's go for another pluck darkness because there's other things i want to show on here um if i go back to down here you've got some Macro knobs, which you can map to your controller. So you can add different things on here and the mod wheel you can map again by just clicking that little plus you know the little crosshairs and then click it to wherever you want to what you wherever you want to control so i could control the delay mix i want to in the mod wheel there you go it's as quick and easy as that really well thought out interface i think this is really really interesting And the cool thing is, if I press this N2 Retro, you have the sort of fantastic interface that you originally had. Yeah, you lose a lot of the functionality straight away, but you can enjoy a bit of retro goodness, but you still have your mod controllers at the bottom. So they kept it faithful, really. So if we go... Um, back to library then you're back where you are so this is sort of first look at nexus 5 a really really interesting update that adds a lot more power to 
what originally was just basically a closed source uh, rompler. Now you can program your own sounds. You can export and share and it's it's there. So you can save your user presets. It's Yeah, um, I'm going to explore this a lot more. Uh, if you enjoy this video, remember, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, this has been the first look. And like I say, I had never touched this before. I down literally downloaded it just moments before this video. And uh, stay creative, stay psych, and I will catch you in the next video.